Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is there is a war of words between President Obama and Jay-Z. Yes, that's Jay-Z as in Beyonce. Now, wait a minute, a war of words? Oh, wait a minute. No, somebody's an outright liar. Or wait, was it a misunderstanding? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. We do no product <laughs> No, we do no product placement. That's why you see Gibson on his chest. <laughs> okay. They gave me this T-shirt. There was no monetary things involved. I got lots of things from Gibson. <laughs> Many yes. things from Gibson. And Except the guitar that I won. I want the guitar! I know of course, I can't play the guitar, but I want the guitar. Because it looks like a nice guitar. I wanted guitar the work. Les Paul guitar. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, it is. I mean, the, there is... Um, the, I, I love this. I mean, well, Flea Obama basically is, loves it too. The Republicans in the Senate have decided that they can win, the, they can take the Senate and win the next presidency by abandoning the, uh, the conservatives in their party. If, if they swing to the left and go after those people that will never vote for a Republican, if their life depended upon it, they will easily win re-election. No. I mean, they're running a person, they're running a person against McConnell for the Republican nomination that is to the left of um, Ashley Judd, and they expect that, that he could, that he, he would bring in, okay, it's a, it's a, all, it's a god awful conservative state, Kentucky, and they think that going way to the left will win them the Senate seat. <laughs> and that's why Democrats don't win in Kentucky. But Republicans, it is, there are 16 Republicans, including John McCain, that are on their way out in the Senate. Ah, uh, and uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and the president that wore words. They put it this way, one of the, either the president or Jay-Z and Beyonce are lying SOBs, according to the people. They said, Jay-Z said the president basically said specifically, and you know, they put it in a song, he said, don't tell them I sent you because it will get me impeached. It's in oh. the song. That he what? Was, yeah, JC, the JC and Beyonce were not sent. Not, they didn't. Get, the Treasury Department does not set, let people go. It has nothing to do with that. The Treasury Department does handle the Secret Service, though. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, they said that the uh, only way he could have went over there was with uh, the President of the United States' his office giving a waiver so that they could go over representing the United States because mm -hmm. you can. People can go go to Cuba all the time, but they have to have permission. And it's just and the Treasury Department doesn't have the authority to grant anybody permission. And the tweet about the Daily Show, Boomerang is on the U.S. Embassy. Well, because the okay, and it turns out that virtually no one, no one in the Democratic Party has a sense of humor. That you have to understand that all of the Democratic, all those can't, all the comedians that make all the jokes. They aren't Democrats, they're independents. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're funny. Because the instant you become a Democrat, you, your idea of, um, of being funny is, how many Republicans does it take to screw in a light bulb? Mm -hmm. That's their idea of a funny joke. Mm -hmm. And Obama pays less in taxes, then does his secretary. I know, and they're trying to back out. Well, you know, that uh, President of the United States was just taking advantage of all of the things that were available in the tax in a tax code, and that he did nothing wrong, and then they point out the fact this morning to Carney, well, uh, we, I, would you like us to play, everybody in the place has it on their smartphones or tablets, the President of the United States condemning anybody, including Mitt Romney, for doing exactly what he did, and then there's also the somewhat of a problem with the tens of millions of dollars that these guys are making in, uh, together, are making in books, mm -hmm. and that doesn't show up. Mm -hmm. That's income. I mean, nobody on earth believes the president and his wife's total income, total income for last year was six hundred some thousand dollars. It's not believable. What? Come on. That's like right. that's okay. Especially since they had a book deal and everybody's talking about how much money they made on their books. Come yeah, on. Yeah, it's very okay. It's called uh, the okay. The president and the de okay Democrats do not understand that if you say it it either ends up in print which they think well nobody reads it anyway or it ends up on the internet which unfortunately everybody finds I mean they got it all over the place well, this morning you're talking about it on the financial shows I, what about that seven million dollars that the Michelle mm -hmm. signed uh, isn't that counted as income and the other part is, is you know they're taking advantage of deductions because I don't think his secretary makes six hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars either 
Uh, well, you never know in the Democratic Party it's possible. I mean, <laughs> After tax. Okay, remember, I think there's like two to three hundred people working on the White House staff that make more money than the President of the United States makes. Oh, there are? Yeah. And that they're really throwing fits about. Well, he has a he has a White House budget of over a billion well, dollars. There always has been people that made more than the president, but they also don't get the Secret Service and the payment for life and all that. Yeah, but this is why they're really, you know, well, they had to furlough the the assistant chef because we don't have the money. They have got the White House budget is over a bill. That's the building the president lives in. His budget is over a billion dollars a year. How would you like to have a billion dollars for your house? Yeah, and <laughs> they, can, uh, they can afford to throw a party for uh, for you know for more money than it would cost to keep the White House open for a year, but they can't afford to keep the, the tours uh, going. Keep, uh, the keep the tours going or to keep the assistant chef working. Mm. Oh wait a minute! What about that taste tester, though? Oh, they do have taste testers, which everybody thought was sort of amazing. Only a royal person has a taste. Well, I'm sorry the president can't eat this because his, his wife's ta his wife tester, food tester, got sick and the president had to allow, and they said, for Christ's sake, I, the, the yeah, democratic is. state, and you're basically, the product is all from a democrat that would basically, if the president of the United States said, kiss my rear, she would have bent over and kissed his rear. And it's all the democratic house leaders, democratic leaders that were there too. Everybody eating. Okay, the secret service is asking for leftovers. Because the president, okay, if the president doesn't eat, his staff doesn't eat, which means they had all this leftover food. Oh, and they you want, if he doesn't eat, his staff doesn't eat? Oh, yeah, they don't eat. If the president doesn't touch anything, no one else does. It's protocol. Oh, interesting. Um, the U.S. tells a North Korea new missile launch. It would be a huge mistake. Uh, okay, um, I'm watching a thing this morning on, um, on they're actually, they're bringing back all these old miniseries on, on uh, on uh, on Korea, which were really great special effects, and you see, you know, uh, you see, uh, what's his name, Mr. Watanabe from Ch Japan, played a uh, played a soldier in a thing, but um, but Ken Watanabe, but they're they're going back to point out the fact that every leader of North Korea, since the since it became North Korea, has had to prove themselves in military action. Bef uh, and if they don't prove themselves in military action, they replace them because the country is a, a warrior-based society. It's like uh, China, Japan was samurai-based. The uh, Korean m North is all warrior-based. If they don't prove them, it doesn't make any difference. They haven't won a battle in North Korea in like 700 years, folks. Oh, and Sudan's Bashir pledges peace in first South Sudan visit since split. You know, they're, they're, okay, there's no, you can't have peace in a country that's at war with itself. That's mm. ridiculous. I mean, it's just like, will there ever be peace between uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland? It ain't going to happen until they become one. And hurdles for UN team on standby to probe Syria chemical arms. Well, because they can't really tell whether it was Syrians or it was the, uh, the you know, their Muslim opposition because... It, the best way you want to do is you blame somebody on something. You basically stage something that no one can prove one way or the other and blame it on the governments in charge. I mean, first of all, by now, Obama has basically proved the fact that they have no control over what's going on. And it's probably going to... The, the Russians and the Chinese do not want al-Qaeda taking over. So they'll pump everything that uh, Bashad needs to stay in power. And Italy wise manners reformed to help break a political deadlock. Which isn't going to happen because what happens is is that that while the the congressional or congressional part of the country was won by uh, uh, by the one party, the majority of the people voted for Bertolucci, who was there before, and he he will not form a government with the other people, and therefore there are going to have to be new elections called parliamentary elections. Suck, and this is what the Democrats want to turn this country into as a parliamentary nation. Iraq mosque bombing kills seven worshippers. Yep, they were on the wrong side of the Muslim world. And thousands of Palestinians protest in West Bank. Uh, because they think that Obama is going to support the takeover of Israel. That ain't going to happen because his people get too much money from the Israelis in this country. And if, if Obama allows Israel to fall, the Democratic Party falls with it. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, that's one of the good ones, that, that, that you should never say something today 
that uh, and then um, then deny you said it because it shows up all over the internet tomorrow. Especially when you're taped all the time. <laughs>